So one of the things that we find work really well is making the learning project-based so that it's authentic. There's um, voice and choice for the students and they're able to um, infuse the skills that they're learning with an end product in mind. So it's interesting, it's engaging, and when they start collaborating on their project, they really get motivated. So um, the other thing that they do that helps with that is they see connections from class to class because in order to increase the literacy skills across the curriculum, this, the teachers collaborate and they have joint projects. So the students will work together to produce um, a journalistic article in a magazine or create a board game or create um, a, a marketing plan or something that's connected to their learning in one or more classes. So when they start seeing those connections happen, their learning goes up, their engagement goes up, the teachers like working together so they get more enthused about the projects, and the rigor goes up. That's the exciting thing is the projects have more rigor when there's more people involved in them and they're collaborative in nature because we keep infusing that as teachers and people. So um, that really works well. The, the math teacher may be doing a project with uh, trigonometry that he's doing a submarine project and, and the students get involved in that. It's like life or death to be able to figure out what to do in the project and they have to use math to do it. So it's fun and it's engaging and it has an end product. That is just the best way to learn. The hands-on, relevant, real sort of um, learning that we do in our adult life that we know works with adults, it works well in the classroom too with the Common Core.